Good morning everyone and happy Monday. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done a, one of these. I still find them really um, awkward and I find them really sometimes quite difficult to do. Um, but I thought it was important to, to do one today uh, and talk a little bit about anger. Something that I've got quite a lot of experience with as I'm sure many people do. Firstly, I apologise that this video is quite dark. Um, I've not had a very good sleep in the last week. Um, things I'll go into uh, in a minute, but um, it, it always comes out of my skin and my eyes all puffy and I just didn't feel comfortable being like full beam of light today. So hopefully you don't mind that I'm doing this in a little bit darker um, screen today. Um, the last, well, I've, as you will probably know, I've been planning my wedding um, which is in four months, which I'm so excited about, and um, and it's doing that as and trying to build this this site that I'm building. It can be quite stressful, but actually, what makes it stressful is is people because um, people are unpredictable and um, you can't organise people that you can tasks. <laughs> so. Uh, and I think it's part of an, uh, being an anxious person that you try and please people because you're just anxious all the time about what people think. Um, and I've written a post, uh, which I'll put the link on uh, underneath this video, a, li a little bit more about being a people pleaser. But um, but it's been a week of revelations, I suppose. Uh, I think all weddings and anything like that can often bring out um, certain aspects in, in family and friends and some that are good and, and some that are not so good and um, it's been one of those weeks that just so much has happened that by the end of it and you know you stuff happens and you try and deal with it like you you know the way in the way you've taught yourself how to deal with stressful situations but there's just that one last thing and you just feel almost like it, you've snapped, it, you've broken uh, and that's kind of what happened to me last week. So the difference I think between the way I feel at the moment and my sort of general anxiety that I have uh, when I'm sort of feeling a bit down you know those moments when or those days where you feel down and there's no reason for it um, this is very different because it's it's a reactionary response to to actual events and actual people so I um, I just wanted to talk a bit about about that I am um, when I was younger I was a very very angry I was a very angry person um, because of the stuff that happened um, with my mum which um, when she had a nervous breakdown and um, I would blame myself for things I just was angry because I didn't understand why and I didn't know how to deal with the anger so I just got angrier and angrier and it dealing with it was I was dealing with it in very destructive ways hurting myself hurting people around me and and I once heard that um, anger, repressed anger, because I didn't feel like I should be angry. I had nothing in my head. I didn't have anything real to be angry about. And so I was trying to repress it. I think we all do that. We try and pretend like something that we're feeling isn't there. And, and repressed anger turns into depression, which made a lot of sense to me because I was depressed for a long time. And as soon as I learned how to deal with my anger, the depression went away. And I, I'm still left with the anxiety, but it's a very small price to pay. Um, and it's a, it's a very sort of, it's a very mild form of what I used to feel, if that makes sense. I, I can deal with it. It's not something that I, you know, feel that stops me from living my life. Or affects people around me so much it's more affecting me I'm okay with that kind of um, but so so on to to last week it's I think when something really affects me now I mean obviously I'm a very open person I talk about 
everything that's happened to me quite openly. I don't mind talking about things that have happened to me because I don't feel like I have anything to be ashamed of. But when something really affects me, I I do actually go into myself a little bit and need time to almost to process. It. <laughs> it's the calm before the storm. And there were a couple of things sort of last week that happened and just they stunned me to the extent they sort of stunned me into silence and and the people that care about me and that love me and know me they sort of they do do just what I need they kind of are there if I need to talk but and they, they sort of check up on me but they also know that I will you know, come to them when I'm ready to talk about it or explode. <laughs> um, and if I'm forced out of that process of needing the calm to process my thoughts, because I know if I act while I'm in that almost catatonic state, it will not be a positive for me. It will not be a positive for anybody around me. And I just need that time to to know how to deal and and go for, and move forward. Um, the problem I have is that I have some people in my life, um, and these are within my family um, and what I found in my friendship circle. Um, sadly, that not everybody is concerned with how I feel, which is fine. I'm not, you know, expecting everyone to put my needs first, of course. But some people are so concerned with how they are feeling that they will try and push me and into a response. They will try and force me to engage and to talk about it just so that I can make them feel better, if that makes any sense. And um, sometimes it's not a person, sometimes it's an event, something else happens on top of everything else that's already going on in my head and it disrupts my natural cycle of dealing and I break. That's how it feels. It literally feels like something breaks inside of me and um, I almost dissolve. It feels like I, I dissolve and I just start crying. <laughs> so that day came on Friday, something else happened and um, and I just, I was just like, what? It almost felt like last week I'd woken up in an alternate universe and everyone had just gone crazy. And I was trying to step back and just let it all play out, not get involved, because you just I don't believe in, in sort of trying to resolve things when there's a lot of emotional like there was just so much en like emotional negative energy and I uh, I just needed to step back from it. I couldn't, as an empath, I just couldn't like get involved. But anyway, something happened on Friday and I was just dissolved and I started sobbing and crying like in a horrible way where you, you're almost like a child. And um, I was just like, I don't want to do this anymore. I can't deal with this um, rubbish. I was about to say a swear word. I'm not going to deal with this rubbish anymore. I don't want to deal with it anymore. Um, and it gets to a point where you're like, I just want everyone just to leave me alone. Um, it, it's one of those, you can't control it because there are things just happening. And as much as you try and rise above it, when it involves people you really care about, like the, it's the people that are the closest to you that can affect you. And when it's more than one in a, such a short space of time, something just happens inside you and you're just it and it's that 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 anger that you've learned to deal with that old friend that you recognize from when you were 15 years old reappears and I just wanted to sort of go through maybe how the best way of dealing with that for anybody who has that sort of issue with anger um, and my, cause, because my first response is always deal with it now. Like that's what my, that's what I want to do. I want to, but it's not, it's not healthy because I'm angry. My sort of, my instinct is, um, well, I don't think it's an instinct. I think it's 
a, the anger, it's a reaction. I just want to react and it will be an overreaction. Um, and it will just, and in an almost, you're not serving yourself by doing that because you will put yourself in the wrong. You know, no matter what's going on, no matter who's in the wrong at the moment, if you react in a negative or angry way, you will almost do everyone a favour by putting yourself in a position that puts that make, makes you wrong. And um, so and it's the hardest thing in the world just to let it go. It's, it's harder to let go than it is to hold on. And, you know, I, I do my deep breathing and I occupy myself with people that have my back, that I can rely on. You know, I don't necessarily have to talk about what's going on. If I want to have a rant, that's okay. But just do it with people you can trust. Um, but never act in anger. It's the same. Never act in anger. Never make a promise in, when you're happy. Because um, emotions can trick you. And um, I've learnt both of those lessons really like, in a really difficult way in the last year. since Well, since my engagement. If you've ever been engaged or married, um, you will know how much weddings just seem to bring out some crazy stuff in people. It's just insane. I wish I wish we'd eloped. <laughs> um, uh, so, so uh, going on with with how I'm dealing with it, I just I don't feel like myself at the moment. Um, I feel very vib. I'm almost vibrating. And I know that's the anger and it's the the confusion about how things have become out so out of control in this in just a week. And the the only advice I can really give is not to ignore it. I'm not saying, you know, by not doing anything you're ignoring it. You need to process it within yourself. You need to understand why you're so angry. You know, you need to talk to, to your friends and um, your loved ones that you know, that you trust about how you're feeling and, and sort of gauge responses, but don't act on how you're feeling. Let it lie, let it play out. Let the universe or, or God or whatever you believe deal with it. And because the world won't stop and nothing bad will happen if you let it go and look after yourself and just nurture your own emotions and make sure that you're okay because it's not selfish to look after yourself sometimes and to be you know selfish in the way you know keep yourself to yourself and just let everybody go crazy don't you know don't get involved with it and um Sometimes what I do is I'm 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 a very reactionary person and I will write uh, if I get an email or a text or something from somebody that I'm angry with and they wind they are winding me up to get a, re a reaction I will respond but I won't send and um, it's it's the trick of not sending uh, that I've learnt because in my experience nothing good has ever come of reacting in anger uh, and so that's that's my advice today really um, if you want to contact me a, a, again about any more sort of practical tools and things like that that I use please feel free to contact me through my website and um, I hope you're all having a better week or month than I am um, but I think you know all these things can be turned around to serve you I've learned a lot about the people in my life this past week and I don't think you know that's ever a bad thing but just serve yourself don't put yourself in the wrong and um, let, let everyone you know do their thing it you don't have to attend every argument that you're invited to that was something I heard the other day and I thought it was brilliant so thank you for watching and um, I hope you all have a really really good Monday and a great week ahead of you um, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Thank you.